Two and a half years ago, I released my clone stamp tool for Final Cut Pro. The clone stamp tool relies heavily on the built-in object tracker, and fortunately, the object tracker has received a lot of updates over the years. However, that also means that my older videos are completely outdated. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to refresh that video so that people know how to use this tool, but to also release a small update with some great new features. Essentially what the clone stamp tool is, it creates a duplicate of whatever video you are working with, then allows you to create a mask and then offset that mask to take a separate part of your video to cover up whatever section needs to be cleaned up. So you see in this video, we have a little bit of sensor dust happening here in our scene. So let's go ahead and clean that off. To do so, I'm going to apply the clone stamp tool onto my shot. And again, like I said, it's created a duplicate of that video. From there, we need to create a mask. So we'll go to the top right corner and select our shape mask tool and then we'll select add shape mask. From there, we can go ahead and shrink this down to about the scale of whatever we're trying to cover up in our scene. Maybe I'll make it just a little bit larger. And of course we can add some feathering according to taste. After that, we can select our clone stamp tool and find our on-screen control and just drag this over until the object has been removed. From there, we can jump into all of the various settings that we have available to us. Maybe we need to adjust the brightness on this so we can raise or lower the brightness using these different sliders. We can tint it if we need to. We really have a whole lot of options here. So that's the basics of using the clone stamp tool, but what if we wanna use it on something a bit more complex? Well, let's take a look at this second shot and let's say that we want to remove this island in the top right hand corner. Again, we'll just apply the clone stamp tool, then we'll select add a shape mask, and we can drag this shape mask over the top of that island. Getting it roughly into the shape that we want, we can go ahead and select the tracker inside of the shape mask settings. And then in the top left hand corner, we can click on analyze. We'll just let Final Cut Pro do its tracking magic. And you'll notice that we have a pretty solid track, at least for the position of this tool. But you'll notice that randomly here in the middle, it decides to shrink in on the object. And that's not really what we want. So we're going to need to unlink the scale. This is very simple to do. Coming up to the tracker on the right hand side, you'll see this down arrow. We'll click on that and we'll change the behavior. Right now it's selected to pin to tracker, which means it's going to take on whatever that tracker does. But we can change this over to offset from tracker. And this allows us a lot of different options. For one, we can go ahead and disable the scale and the rotation on this shape. So now we only have the position data happening with that track, which is really nice. We'll need to jump into the shape settings and we can go ahead and shrink this back down to the scale of the island and getting it as close to that island shape as we can is really going to help us. Let's also adjust the feather down quite a bit and that's looking pretty nice. Now that we're done with that, we can go ahead and select done and then making sure that our clone stamp tool is selected, we can use our on-screen control and drag this out of the way so that we no longer see that island. You'll notice though that the coloring is a bit off here. So we'll just jump down into our midtones and raise those up a little bit, getting that color to match just a little bit better. And so now if I play this shot, we'll notice that that island has been removed and nobody would be the wiser. Now something that I wanna point out is that this clone stamp tool is not some sort of magic AI driven tool. The clone stamp tool can only take video from another part of your video. It's much more like the clone stamp tool over in Photoshop where you need to have a clean section to replace whatever you're trying to clean up. So this clone stamp tool will only be able to work as good as the original clip is and whatever different elements you have within that media to clean up whatever section you're using the clone stamp for. Additionally, this clone stamp tool is relying on the built-in object tracker inside of Final Cut Pro. So if the object tracker cannot achieve the results you're after, then this clone stamp tool is also not going to work for you. This last clip is going to be the most complex and that is for blemish removal. The reason why this is complex is because the human face has a lot of complexity to it. If you move your head like this, it's going to be very difficult to track. The lighting can change. So just keep all of that in mind, but I'm gonna show you a few tricks for getting really reliable results. Let's go ahead and apply the clone stamp tool. Once again, we'll add a shape mask and we'll just shrink this down over a part of the face that we wanna clean up. So I really just wanna take away some of these larger blemishes on our actor's face. And we'll zoom in here with Command Plus and just get that surrounding the shape 
of the blemish. I'm also going to bring the feather way down somewhere in there and that's looking pretty good. For some reason, Final Cut Pro is really struggling with tracking this particular seam. So there's a great way to get around that. Let's jump into the tracker and this is going to automatically add a new object track to the scene. So now that we've done that, we can scroll to the very bottom of our video inspector and see this object track. I'm just gonna go ahead and call this blemish one. And from there, you'll see the analysis method. Right now it's set to automatic. If you're ever struggling with an object track in Final Cut Pro, I strongly recommend that you try setting this manually. So for this particular scene, I discovered that machine learning happened to work the very best for the track. So let's select machine learning, and then I'm going to track forward. We'll let Final Cut Pro do its tracking magic and it looks like it did a really solid job. From there, we can scroll back up and locate our clone stamp tool. And I'm actually going to zoom out a bit so we can see our on-screen control. Now, we have a couple options here. One is to simply drag and find a clean part of his face and that can work pretty well. We could adjust the lighting here. But if you're running into an issue where that's just not working, maybe it just doesn't look very natural, what I recommend is you also add in a color mask. So again, zooming in here, we'll go to the top right of our clone stamp and select add color mask. So not only do we have the shape mask working, but we also have this mask that works directly with the color. And so what we can do is click and drag directly on the blemish. So now Final Cut Pro knows that we only want to be selecting that color. From there, we can go ahead and select our clone stamp tool and click and drag to make the adjustments. And you'll notice now that we're just affecting the blemish, which is really nice. So we can just find a part of the skin that's working better for us. And that's looking pretty good. It's still a little bit rough though, so we can scroll on down and locate our color mask and adjust the softness on that. So now we have removed that larger blemish and if we push play, you can see it's totally gone and perfectly tracked. So once again, let's go ahead and do that for the upper blemish. Now you might think that you want to use the original clone stamp that you've applied, but I actually recommend that you apply another instance of the clone stamp. So I'm gonna go ahead and hide this first clone stamp and we can just reapply that. And we could even rename this to be blemish removal two if you wanted to and you're in Final Cut Pro 10.8. Once again, we'll go ahead and show that and select add shape mask. We'll drag the shape mask into position. I might need to zoom in here so we can really see what we're doing and we'll shrink that down quite a bit. That's looking good and adjust our feather. From there, we'll go to our tracker and I'm gonna scroll on down to the object track, rename this to be blemish two so we know exactly what these tracks are for and we'll change it once again to machine learning. From there, we can select analyze and Final Cut Pro once again does a pretty solid job. Scrolling back up, we can make sure we show the blemish removal. We could go ahead and click and drag around to find a clean portion of his skin, but we find ourselves somewhat struggling in this area. So again, I would suggest adding a color mask as well, clicking and dragging on that blemish just so we're only affecting the blemish maybe dragging up the softness on that as well. And now from there, we can select our clone stamp tool and adjust it so that that blemish has been removed, maybe even drag up the softness a bit more. And if you're really struggling, you could also use stuff like these blur settings to clean that up. And that's looking pretty solid. Now, like I mentioned at the beginning, I'm also releasing update 1.4, which is a free update to anybody who previously purchased the clone stamp tool. And now I can show you some of those amazing new features. The first feature we can take a look at is I've updated the icon to be a little bit cleaner here in your viewer. I felt like the old icon looked pretty pretty cheap. The second update for the clone stamp tool is I have updated the UI here. I've made it just a little bit cleaner and there's a bit more separation between the different tools. Thirdly, I've made some updates to the extend edges feature. And for those of you that don't know what that is, if I go ahead and move my video feed over here to the left hand side, maybe I was trying to clone stamp from right here on the edge. And so if that's the case, you can always select extend edges. However, that can introduce some problems Notably on this particular shot, you'll notice that the video is kind of getting further apart and mirroring and it can look a little strange. So one way to mitigate that is to blur just the extended edges. So I'll go ahead and drag that slider up and now you'll notice that, that extended edge feed is blurred out. 
Plus we can also drag this feather slider to kind of clean up that edge a bit. And if we wanna go beyond that, we can click and drag directly on this 100 number. And the last additional feature in this update is if you were to blur out your entire clone stamp, just like so, you would notice that there's no noise. And so this is a dead giveaway if you've blurred something within the scene. So now you can add in some additional noise. We could drag up that amount. And this is just gonna make it integrate with the scene a bit better. Hopefully this clone stamp tool is as helpful to you as it has been to me. If you don't have the clone stamp tool, I do have links to it down below with a special discount code as a thank you for watching this video. If you found this video helpful, then I strongly suggest you actually check out this video, which is an absolute deep dive on the object tracker inside of Final Cut Pro. Thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.